prepared. For months, telescopes tracked three Atlas as another interstellar visitor. However, now, as it closes in on Earth, new data demonstrates that this is not what scientists thought. It's bigger, faster, and showing behavior that defies every orbital model. Atlas is not two kilometers across, it's 47 kilometers across. We didn't pay attention to a small asteroid. We've been tracking something smaller than a small moon, and it's been decelerating for the past six weeks, which means it's not just passing through our solar system, it's planning to stop here. What's about to be revealed about Atlas, its true size, internal structure, and what it's been doing as it approaches Earth is going to fundamentally change everything we thought we knew about this object. The miscalculation wasn't a simple error. It was methodical and deliberate, as if Atlas was made to look smaller than it actually is until it got close enough that the truth couldn't be hidden anymore. And now that we know how big it really is, we're starting to understand what we're actually dealing with. This isn't a rock from interstellar space. This is something built, and it's almost here. When we first detected Atlas, it was still beyond Neptune's orbit. At that distance, we rely on brightness, spectroscopic examination, and measurements to estimate size. The numbers are straightforward. Measure how much light it displays, estimate its composition, calculate its approximate size. For months, Atlas appeared to reflect light consistent with a dark, rocky surface about two kilometers in diameter. Every measurement confirmed this. Every calculation aligned. The data was consistent. But here's what nobody realized. Atlas wasn't reflecting light naturally. It was in control of its brightness. Three days ago, when NASA's Deep Space Imaging Array finally achieved resolution detailed enough for surface mapping, they noticed something impossible. Atlas's surface wasn't uniformly dark, it had patterns. Geometric patterns. Hexagonal structures like scales covering the entire surface. Additionally, these structures were absorbing incoming light, not just reflecting it poorly, but actively capturing and suppressing it, like stealth coating on military aircraft across an entire 47 kilometers object. A researcher looking at the pictures described the moment of realization. They were studying the first high-resolution scan, expecting to see craters and irregular rock patterns. Instead, they saw a perfectly engineered surface with symmetrical structures repeated across the entire visible area. It was like expecting to photograph a mountain and discovering you're actually looking at a building designed to look like a mountain from a distance. The hexagonal structures aren't natural geological formations. They're manufactured, precision engineered to a tolerance that suggests technology far beyond our current capabilities. Each hexagon measures about 400 meters across. The entire surface of Atlas is covered with over 11,000 of these structures, all oriented in patterns that suggest deliberate design, like solar panels, sensor arrays, or something we don't yet understand. When NASA recalculated Atlas's actual size based on surface mapping rather than brightness estimates, the numbers were breathtaking. Mass estimates increased by a factor of 24. Internal volume calculations revealed that Atlas is enormous, sufficient to accommodate structures the size of cities within it. We weren't wrong because of poor math. We were wrong because Atlas was made to deceive our measurements, until it got close enough that the deception no longer mattered. Here's what makes this absolutely terrifying. Atlas has been slowing down. Objects in space don't simply slow down. There's no friction, no air resistance. If something enters our solar system at high velocity, it continues at that speed unless something acts upon it. Natural objects either maintain speed and pass through, or get captured by the sun's gravity and enter an elliptical orbit. Atlas is currently doing neither. Six weeks ago, Atlas was traveling at 87 kilometers per second relative to the sun, standard interstellar velocity. Then it started decelerating, not through gravitational interaction, but through active propulsion. NASA detected the deceleration through minute changes in Atlas's spectroscopic signature. 
The rear-facing surface began showing thermal emissions consistent with massive energy release, not reflected sunlight, but heat generated from within the object. Atlas's firing engines, fracturing thrusters, and slowing down from interstellar velocity to solar system orbital speeds. Current speed, 31 kilometers per second and decreasing. At current deceleration rates, Atlas will reach zero relative velocity with respect to Earth in approximately 14 days. That means an object the size of a small moon with a manufactured surface and internal power systems capable of producing the thrust needed to decelerate 47 kilometers of mass will come to a complete stop relative to our planet in two weeks. But the deceleration isn't the most disturbing part. The trajectory isn't heading toward the Sun or into a stable orbit around Jupiter or any other logical destination. Atlas adjusted its trajectory three weeks ago. Another burn, another course correction. It's heading directly toward Earth's orbital path, and its current deceleration profile will bring it to a stop about 384,000 kilometers from the surface of Earth lunar distance. Atlas intends to establish itself in the exact same orbital area as our moon, not passing by Earth, not entering solar orbit, stopping at the exact distance where humanity's only natural satellite resides. Once NASA understood Atlas's true size, they began a complex structural analysis using ground-penetrating radar and gravitational measurements. What they found inside makes the surface features look mundane by comparison.